Well, hello everybody. This is Lori Cooch and welcome back to another Makers with Heart video collaboration. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, this month we're going to be discussing flip flaps and if you're not familiar with them, be prepared because these are the most awesomest things. I love them. Is that a word? Awesomest? Anyway, <clears throat> so today I'm going to show you my take on flip flaps <clears throat> and we're going to make a card with them, but I'm going to show you them first. But um, I've already pre-cut using the Thank You Kindly Stamp and Thin Cut set. Um, I've already, I need this, pre-cut the boot and the flower and I have cut a piece of white daisy cardstock in four by six because I'm going to be using a four by six flip flap. I have some photo place holder holders because I haven't printed those photos yet. And then I've got a piece of lemonade cardstock cut at uh, six by eight. So we'll use that as our card base. But first I wanna show you, so the flip flaps come in a variety of sizes and I have my little cheat sheet here. They come a three by four, four by six, five by seven, two by two, three by three, six by 12, eight by 12, and four by four. And I have a stack of some here and I'm gonna be using a four by six, but the four by sixes and the five by sevens come um, in both orientations. So you can have a landscape one or a portrait one and I'm going to be using the portrait one in our project um, put these away and then I have here some five by sevens you'll see they those come in both directions as well and some six by twelves is what I just pulled out from my stash um, I've got an album here where I used a lot of flip flaps um, we took a trip a couple of years ago and I used the six by 12 flip flaps. I gotta get this over here. On the beginning of each day, we got these little itinerary things. So I put them on the page for the beginning of each day. Um, there's two different ways you can do this. Um, with these ones on the side, it's not so much of a big deal. So you can either attach it to your page protector or your memory protector or you can attach it to the page. And I don't know, and see what these are cool is it allows me to take this brochure out at any time. Let me see if I can find a flip flap in here on one of my photos maybe. I don't know if this album actually has any of those. You can see I just use it at the beginning of each day of the trip. Um, Okay, so here's one. So I added it, move this so you can see. So here's an eight by 12 on the page with a picture in it. And so it gives you the option, you know, you, the flexibility of the flip flap, it gives you more, more space on your page so that you can put more photos on your page. But what I was going with this is, um, if I had had them, which I don't seem to have any on the actual page, like a four by six size, you could then either put it directly on your memory protector or some people cut a slit and then after they adhere it to their page, right, directly right on the page, then they will just pull the flip flap through that slit on their page and um, still have that flip flap element being able to uh, be a function in their album. Um, personally, I put it on the memory protector nine times out of 10. I have put it on the page. I don't have a reason as to why I do one over the other, except for maybe it's just easier to put it on your page or on your memory protector. So that's why I do that. Um, so let's get started with our project. The first thing I'm going to do is score my piece of eight by six cardstock at four inches. And I do have a scoreboard, but I'm gonna just do it the cheater way. 
using my bone folder and my cutter and I just lined it up like I'm gonna cut it and then run my bone folder in the grid of my cutter. And then I'm just gonna fold it like you normally would a card. So there's gonna be my card front. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, there's gonna be seven days of different videos on flip flaps. So you're gonna to wanna to check them all out because everybody's going to have a different take on them. And I'm sure it's going to um, just be very educational and inspiring to see what everyone else does. I know I love watching what they do. So like I said, I've already pre-cut these because you guys don't wanna watch me cut things. And I'm going to stamp them. Let me grab some blocks. Oh, those are big, but that's okay. And this one. I'm going to stamp them in, gotta find it here, the Memento ink. Um, I've been told, I, I don't know, but I've been told that the Memento ink doesn't smear a lot when you um, gonna color, and I'm going to color, so we're gonna give that a go. I honestly don't use this as much as I should. And I'm just stamping on the little cushy, foamy thing that comes in your stamp um, bundle so that it gets a good stamp. And then I wanna make sure I have this laid out the right way, I do. Ignore this ugly thing on my arm. It's physical therapy tape. It's not a tattoo. Okay. So I have some really crisp, clean images. I love our stamps. They always provide clean images. And I'm just going to start to color them. And I'm going to color them on just a piece of um, scrap that was left over because sometimes the ink will go through and I really don't want it going through onto my, on my desktop. So I'm going to grab some ink. I think we're gonna go with, um, let's see. And another thing you can do with scrap paper is test out your ink color. So yeah, I'm gonna go with the red brown. I'm gonna start with the light and I'm going to just start coloring the boot. Um, I really like the flip flaps for my scrapbook pages because it just adds so much more functionality onto a scrapbook page and let you get so many more photos on your page. So, you know, I'm, I'm known for printing photos in different sizes. I don't want every um, photo in my album to be the same size. I like to mix it up. So um, the flip flaps work well with that, especially when you have that odd photo that you just can't get it to fit on that page, the flip flap can add that extra element and space so that you can get all the pictures you want onto that one layout. Um, the two by two flip flaps work really well for waterfall cards. 
I've done a few of those. I was hoping to have one here still, but I guess I have already gave it away. So I'm just using our Shinhan, nope, those are our old ones. I am using our Spectrum Noir Tri-Blend Markers. And I'm just going to color in the boot. And then I'm going to come in with um, some color. And if you know me, you know it's going to be a pink color. Because everything I do is pink. But I'm also going to blend in some darker tones with um, the medium tone of this pen because these pens have a light a medium and a dark And when the it's out, they're alcohol based. So when they um, dry, you won't see any of these brush marks that I am making. So now I'm coming in on the mid and I'm going to um, come a little darker around the boot poles and around some of the seams. And this really adds um, a visual element to your projects as well. Okay, what else about flip flaps? They're photo safe, so that's always good. That's why I like to use them in my albums. I really like the variety of sizes because like I said, I print in different sizes. Um, I do a lot of five by sevens and eight by tens. And so that allows me to get those on that page and still um, get some other pictures on there as well. And now I'm going to come in with the dark and do the sole and the heel. And I didn't do the inside. And now, because I'm a pink person, I'm going to add pink. <clears throat> and you know what I just saw? I missed some, so I'm gonna come back with that. So I'm gonna make this card for my best friend. Um, so that's why I'm putting some pictures on it. So I'm gonna print some pictures of us um, from when we were kids. I've known her for a long time. And I'm going to come back in and add where I didn't come all the way through. So there's our boot. I'm gonna do a medium yellow for these daisies. I 
I will put links to everything in here, including to the flip flaps because that is the focus of this video. But um, they are a product that Close to My Heart has had for quite a while, and I'm still shocked at the number of people who um, will see them on one of my layouts or have I'll have them at a crop and they'll ask what they are, and they've just never known what they were, so they've never entertain the idea of getting them and then once they see them they they love them and they of course they get some and um they, they're one of those products that um they get overlooked in the catalog a lot but they are they're a must-have for any scrapbooker or um even a card maker they i'm going to use the same pink to tie into the boot um you can they're so versatile you can use them on so many many things and like i said i've used them on cards and i'm going to use you know i'm using them on a card right now and we need green 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 i think this might be So you're going to see here in a second, I'm going to switch out and use the light so that not all of our sprigs are the exact same green, but it's still going to be in the same tonal family because it's on the same pen. So they're going to match, but they're going to be just enough different to um, be appeasing to the eye. I don't know if you guys can hear my husband talking in the background, but he's out in the living room and he has a very loud voice. And since I'm doing this one with the light, I will come in with the mid and add those different hues and textures to this leaf because leaves are never all exactly the same. And I'm just going to do this one in the dark, or I'm sorry, in the mid. And then I will add tones with the dark. And for the sprigs, I'm going to just stay with the dark. And then I'm going to come in with the dark on my pink and outline the bow that ties it together. Okay, it's the coloring, that's the long part, sorry. Okay, so now I'm going to put them, this is gonna be very simple, and the die has this little split here, so I guess I didn't need to color the bottom because it will fit it so the flowers are in the boot. And do I want to add, you know what, we're going <clears> to, <throat> oh, hold on, 
Since I did my card base and lemonade, I'm going to pop this up with a little additional lemonade. And since the card um, front that I'm going to use there is four by six, I'm going to cut um, three and three quarters. I can cut it down if I don't like it. by five and three quarters. And then I'm gonna put that on here. We can get rid of this piece now so that you can actually see what's happening. So now we're gonna have a base of white all the way around. And all of my Things are empty, of course. Let me grab one. Good gravy, you think I had never done this before. Okay. And one of the stamps that was in there said, happy birthday. I'm gonna actually stamp that on the inside of the card. So the outside of the card is gonna be pretty, um, pretty plain, but I like simple. And I'm actually going to add, if I can figure out how to unwind it, some of this embellishing thread. It seems to be knotted up. Oh my goodness, come on now. <laughs> I've got this all tangled up. I'm just a mess. You guys, it's been one of those weeks. And actually, I'm going to take this off first because I wanted to put the thread around it. And I'm just going to run some adhesive on the back to keep it there. And I do want these ends on the front. There. And then I am going to stick our boots on there. Now this is where they come into the flip-flop. So I've got my little flip-flop here. And you just slide it in. And then when it flips up, there's gonna be a picture. So I'm gonna put my placeholder in there. So think about that in an album, you just added a bunch more room for pictures because if this was down on your album you would have one picture two pictures and three pictures in the spot of um, just one so then I'm going to have another picture here so I'm going to just put that on the front so then when it flips up there'll be a couple pictures of of us and you can see how I didn't put that down right here? 
This is adhesive. So you just peel that off. And I actually should have done this first. So let's take that off. And you're just going to line it up so that the top of your card matches the top of your flip flap. And I need to turn it this way. And then I'm going to put my card back on here. It's going to be a little wider, and that's okay. Then on the inside, I'm going to stamp the happy birthday. And if I can find... I'm a, lemonade is going to be a little too matchy-matchy for what I want, so I'm going to just... I got this the Memento ink right here. I'm going to stamp happy birthday at the top. And then that gives me room to write and leave my message for her. Oops. <clears throat> so that is my card using a flip flap. So again, it will lift up. Picture of the two of us on both of these places and then the sentiment on the inside. So I hope you like that. Be sure and come back each day. So every month on the 10th, um, no, sorry, not every month on the 10th, but every month, um, I think it's the second Thursday. I don't know, you guys, it's, I'm telling you, it's been about a week, but always around this time of the month, we're going to start posting, um, videos for you guys. And we're going to be showing you a product like today was the flip flap and there's, um, seven days worth. So come back each day. If you go on my YouTube channel, like on the main page, there's a playlist and there's a makers with heart playlist. And so every day I will be po popping the other videos in there from the other part of the team. So you can catch them all. You won't miss any. So be sure and click on subscribe so that you get those notifications and also make sure you like and subscribe their videos and channels as well because um, it means a lot when people like your like your projects and let you know it by by clicking that like. So check out all the uh, the link below in the comments, all the links to the products that I used. Check out the other videos. Please click subscribe if you haven't done that yet. And um, have a wonderful evening, everybody. And I cannot wait to come back and talk with you again. Good night.